Hello, we're going to show you today how you can make a Ruby GUI in less than five minutes using the Flowstone programming language with Ruby inside. Uh, we're going to start with a Ruby module, and if I search for that there, and we're going to get some uh, bitmaps, so a couple of bitmaps, and a display window, so we can see what we're doing, and finally a uh, a button, I'm going to use a switch button here. Okay, so in order to do this we're going to uh, select two different bitmaps. So here's the first and we can resize these windows so that you can see our bitmap in full. Okay, and I'm going to select another bitmap here. Okay, so we've got two different bitmaps. Uh, then we're going to connect it to our Ruby module and we need a few inputs. We need a video input to the display window. We need um, some bitmap inputs and we need a bool input for our switch. Okay, so we can wire all of these up. And now we're going to uh, just name these. I'm going to name that one bitmap1 and these names will appear inside Flowstone um, in the Ruby module as variable names and put that select ok so now I need to put in some Ruby code and all of the modules in Flowstone or not all but most are, have actually got Ruby code underneath so you can pinch bits of code if you want. So I'm just going to pinch this little bit of code to display a bitmap because we're going to modify that. So what I'm going to do is name that bitmap 1 which is the first input um, here. So that's appeared in our window and I'm just going to make a little um, if then type statement if uh, at select which is our button input is true then do that and then we want an else and another end and I'm just going to copy this line here ok and then just make it bit that too Okay, we can also change the sort of XY position. So I'm just going to move that over a little bit so it's not at the edge. Okay, so now I'm going to um, turn off these little bitmaps so they're not displayed on the top level because they're going to be displayed in this window. And I'm going to get a label. Bring that in and then type Ruby GUI in there. And I want to change the size of the font. And you can go into these modules and you can see there's more Ruby underneath. So I'm just going to change the size of that font, make it a little bit bigger. OK, there we go. Now to make our final GUI step, our button's working as you can see. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to click on this little symbol which makes that into a module press the G to turn on the graphics and then I can unlock these graphics and move these around to make my actual GUI size put my button on there OK, hope that was less than five minutes uh, we can now simulate that and check that it works press escape or we can make that into an actual application so I can make an EXE call that Ruby GUI go create and this will create a standalone executable of our program and run it for us. There we go. Job done. This is our EXE. Hope you enjoyed the little tutorial.